Okay, so we have made it into Ellsby Town Centre. We are in the car park of the uh, the Odeon Cinema. Steve is there somewhere. There he is. That was a bit weird walking that way. So we have got three shots that we're going to do tonight. As I say, we've got one which is a colour spill, use of negative space. The last one is going to be uh, something I thought would be a little bit more fun. is to try an old style flash photography with new cameras. So what is negative space? Negative space is simply put the area surrounding or in between the main subject of the photograph, uh, otherwise known as the positive space. Uh, it's quite an abstract term. It's used in photography, sculpture, art design and architecture too. So with this picture I'm quite happy with. It could have been a bit brighter. I could have used a flash. We could have done it in the daytime. But you know, it, it is what it is. It's not the greatest picture and it's not that sharp. But I do like it. Okay, so we are outside the... Garbingo, where I used to uh, work, spent most of my life in there. And so we are doing the colour wash thing. Steve's just done one outside the gala. Now my port of call is going to be this. There is already a Matrix sign outside the Matrix in Ellsbury, a great store. Um, so I'm literally going to try and get that. Okay, so we are done anyway. Steve's doing his own blog now and he's taking the mickey as normal. Um, the idea for this one is that we're going to um, leave a long exposure. And basically where Steve is going to be is pretty much what my picture is going to, is going to look like. So we're going to leave it as dark as we possibly can and we'll put a long exposure on. And then we're going to flash the flash as we take off the lens cap. And then put the lens cap back on and flash the flash. So, hope uh, not flash the flash, we're going to put the lens cap back on after the flash is flashed. So um, so we get that kind of old school type of image and it's going to be black and white too. So we'll see how this goes and uh, yeah, there we go. I don't quite understand why the, uh, <laughs> this camera is so close when I, when I go into this sort of way. So um, I've just done my shot. Um, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to do. And there was a lot to think about um, trying to juggle um, like lens cap take the lens camera off, put it back on again. So I had to use my hand in the end. It was really quite awkward um, to get the flash going. It was definitely a two-man job, I think. I think I reckon they had a, a, a flash man, if you like, uh, as well as the photographer. So um, we're gonna do a shot each, and we've got to give it an old school feel um, without any editing. Paul doesn't like editing. Okay, so that is pretty much it for, um, <laughs> for, for the night. I think it's been a, a, a good experiment. I think we've got some good, um, I think we've got some good images. So there's a lot going on at the moment because they're, they're actually moving bins at the moment. Um, so I think, I think it's, uh, it's been a, a great evening. Um, I know that was really, that was a cheap shot. But I got it anyway. Um, <laughs> I think it's been a good. I think it's been a good experiment. What do you think, Steve? Honestly, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been interesting. Oh, that shot. It's been interesting, but um, I'm not 100% sure whether it's helped me improve myself as a photographer. In my yeah, but does it make you appreciate the technology of it? Um, yeah, I suppose I do appreciate the technology. But then I did anyway. Yeah. Well, for, for me, it's, it's good to sort of see what people did in the past. I mean, I think for me, it's kind of a learning journey. Um, so I can see what they dealt with to where we are now. So then I get more knowledge, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see how they turn out anyway. So that's it for the... Uh, for the uh, yeah, it's time to go home and edit the hell out of them. Yeah. No, we're not going to edit the hell out of them. They're going to be light edits, like uh, maybe a crop here or there, and that's about it. So... Um, so that's it. So episode two is done of the Busy Man's Guide to Photography. My name is Paul Adams and that's Steve Richmond. Uh, he might not be back next week because I might sack him now. So uh, we'll see you again soon. Yeah.